Selection of roses, fantastic. How are you doing? And welcome to the midweek shave. Hope you've had a fantastic week. Um, as you will know by now, I've got a lot of products to use. And uh, very kindly, Alistair came back, uh, called here the other day. And because um, he heard, he knew I liked this. Soap Commander Courage. And um, there it is. And I've also, when I borrow a soap, I wouldn't usually lather from the tub because it's not mine. But he said, no, I want you to lather from the tub, it's fine. So I've had permission to do that. Otherwise, I would take some out and put it in my own bowl in case you think I'm being a bit rude. <laughs> thank you, Alistair. Oh, and thank you to Darren from Soap Commando who contacted me. And he heard in the video, my previous video, that I um, liked the scent of this so much. Uh, he's going to send me a tub. So thank you, Darren. I'm looking forward to it. The scent from the puck is amazing, so I'm looking forward to this. Right, what are we using? Well, we're going to use this vintage Gillette uh, Rocket. It's a British razor, British Rocket, and uh, I think 1946. Uh, twist to open and inside an Astra SP or an Astra Green brand new blade non adjustable razor there is an overhang and a note to be made here this blade can move I'll try and show you, I don't know if you can see it maybe if I can you see the blade there? I don't know if you see it moving but it does move so you gotta carefully sort of level it out and then give it the final tighten uh, no issues with it so there is a slight overhang um, really nice razor good grip diamond knurling um, we're going to use the fine stout synthetic brush that's wet it's not dripping and we're going to go straight to the puck and I'll show you tips Now, I'll show you again in a minute the lid because the scent is peppercorn, uh, citrus, and cedar. Oh, oh, beautiful. It's just one of those scents. I'm like that. Sometimes I'll smell something and I just love it. Um, look at this straight away. Lovely. Really nice. We'll see if that's enough and I'll go to the water then. So here we go. How, how are you doing? Why do you go high then? How are you doing? <laughs> I'll be having some good shaves. Look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> hey, how are you? Look, look at there. Look inside there. Oh, that's a beautiful scent. It smells so nice. It's like a posh cologne. Really nice. Look at that. Very easy to lather up. The scent is just as nice when it's lathered because sometimes they can change. I love this one. Right. I hope it's not too slick for this. Here we go. Nice, nice. How's your week been? I hope you're in good health and again thank you for all the um, comments in general and in particular this last one for the thoughts and prayers with those people who um, in Manchester uh, had a terrorist attack and also in London. Um, 
but uh, they've they've held another concert in Manchester in memory and to show these evil people that you'll never never win you will always fight back and that's what they did concert for the people that were killed and injured um, in respect to them and uh, So thank you to everybody for the comments. This, I've not smelt, I've not been that excited about a scent for a long, long time. I'm gonna give it a slickness test. It seems very good at the minute. But it's a bit early to say yet. Mustn't let the excitement take over common sense. Not that there's much common sense in this head. Very windy today. This is a lovely shave. This razor was sent by Donald Navy Goat. Uh, he sent me a box of vintage razors, combination of different ones, absolutely fantastic as you may know, uh, a year or two back. And then he sent me two separately, it was a, an aristocrat and this rocket. And he said it's good for this to come back home, uh, made in the UK, made in England, so um, fantastic. Smell that, oh, I tell you. I know a few people have said how good this is. I'm going to go to the water now. If you're posh, you drip. If you're not posh, like me, under the tap quickly. And to the face, and look what happens. Yes, yeah, a few people said that they love this soap, Courage, and some said it's their favorite. And I can see why. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Close up, there we go. Sorry to scare you. <laughs> oh, and it's nice to see, um, I watched Don Fraser, watched your videos, Don. You see my natural in front of the camera with a, having a chat and shaving. It can take some getting used to, but uh, you seem to be a natural, are you? Very light touch. Now I can tell straight away, I can tell then there's good slickness on this. So we're just going to cross the growth. Just bear with me. Remember this is a vintage razor. In lovely condition. Um, don't use them all the time. I do use them and I love them and I look after them. Uh, and they always, every time I use, God that is slick. I use a, an old razor like this. I think of its journey, you know, this has gone, been bought in Britain, um, whether it's been bought by a British person and it's, how it's gone to America, I don't know, but maybe an American visitor come here, bought it and took it back home, you never know, and you often think what their lives were like, which shop they bought it in, fantastic, and another good habit, into that is to keep after every pass keep uh, make sure it's tight right we'll do a slickness test before I do the third no bother no bother whatsoever I could tell 
really nice. Right, on to the third and final pass. So again, I've just gone into the pack, a couple of swirls, and then we'll go back to the tap, dip, For all the wet heads. And uh, I'll put a link in the description to um, Soap Commander. And I'll put a link to my other YouTube channel. And Paul's Wet Heads. Um, some nice pictures and things going on there, nice conversations. You can learn a lot from reading stuff. Um, I'm not always in there, but I do pop in when I can. Um, but it's nice to see it's doing well. Okay, third and final pass. I think the scent for me is the citrus and cedar. That's what's, uh, you know, I can't smell either separately. So I can't say, yeah, the citrus, yeah, the cedar or the peppercorn. But the combination is just, it just works for me. I just love it. And you always hope when you try soaps. I've heard good things about Soap Commander. But you always hope, oh this is beautiful, that it'll lather well, it'll protect, give good slickness and the scent is there and once you get all these combinations working, there's not a lot more to do than enjoy it really. God that is good slickness, do you know what I'm going to say then? Go on. <laughs> It won't be long before we're doing it. Go on, feel that there, go on. Yeah. Yeah, very windy today. So if you put washing out, it'll dry. But you'll have to go about three doors down to pick it up. <laughs> Yeah, so I hope uh, you're in good health, good spirits, and I'll be having some fantastic shaves. I hope you're waiting for parcels to arrive. <laughs> there is something, isn't it, nice about when you've got something on the way and you think, oh, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, it's nice. Very lightly. And uh, pickups. Very satisfying bit this pickups because you're completing the shave. Dependent on what sort of finish you want, of course. Really nice. Just a bit. We'll do the. We'll do this bit on the slickness with water. Right. 
and that is beautiful. Right, I'll just rinse off. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's my little, I keep a little towel here just for handiness. Oh, that's lovely. That, that is lovely. Whew. What can I say? The, um, that worked a treat, look at that. Proof's always in the shave. Right, I'm going to use this stuff. I'm not keen on the scent. But uh, I don't want a scent, if you like, in my witch hazel. Because uh, I'm going to... Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I know Humphreys, you know, I'm not doing them any favours really. Um, they do scented ones, so I'm going to get that again sometime. But uh, it's good stuff. Just I'm not keen on the scent of witch hazel in general. Right, while that's going off, I'll show you what I'm going to use. I thought I'd, com I'd compare, go compare. No, I thought I'd, that's a British, don't worry about it. I thought I'd go and match it with this. This is tail of, this is one of my favorite soap scents as well. And it's quite uh, in that league for me. So I'm going to use the Taylor Vault Bond Street uh, German Street Collection Alcohol Free Aftershave for Sensitive Skin. It's a lovely scent. If you've got the soap, you'll know the scent. So here we go as a spray one. Um, well, I'll tell you what, I'll... Oh, go on then. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good, that's good, that's good. Highly recommend. Good combination. Or just maybe soap commander. Do you do a um, aftershave cologne to match that? I don't know. But we can't get it here because it's because of the shipping. You can't ship. I don't think alcohol yet. Let's hope after Brexit we can. Or at least have proper shipping prices, not sort of. Paying four dollars for a thing of soap and fifteen dollars shipping. <laughs> That's what kills it, you see, and it's the same the other way around for the for you Americans if you're watching. Um, right. Moisture cream. This um, we were shopping the other day and Mrs. H was in Superdrug, which I went to after. She's seen this. It's new. Uh, B B men post shave balm. Um, eight in one, 12 hour moisturizer that soothes, protects, energizes, and controls shine. Clinically proven results. Right, there was a shaving cream to go with this, but I didn't buy it because I didn't have my glasses on, or my, with me, um, because I didn't want to make the mistake of buying it and find it was just one of these you rub on your face. If I can't lather it, I'm not interested, because that, that's part of the process for me. Of enjoyment but uh, she kindly bought this I forget how much it was no um, so I'll try it never used it before that's what it looks like so that's what it looks like there no not much of a center which is good that's still coming through. Table of Bolt Street, that's good. The cologne. That's lovely. I will shine more because I got lights, don't forget. You know, you don't go down the street like this shining. <laughs> I don't think so. Right. Recap. So we've used the Gillette Rocket, the British Rocket. Uh, as I say, 1946, I think. And you twist to the bottom, twist to open, used an Astra SP or an Astra Green, brand new, superb shave. Um, I'm very lucky when it comes to blades, razors, I seem to be able to uh, get good shaves from 
most, you know, it's very rare unless the razor's rubbish or something like that. But, um, oh, I did have blades and I then, was it Japanese or something or Chinese or something? They were terrible. <laughs> but uh, very lucky otherwise. A nice, smooth, very close, clean, comfortable shave. Um, used Sub Commander USA and Vegan Edition. That might be interesting for some people. Uh, we can always pause there. Courage and as I say, peppercorn, citrus and cedar. The scent just hit me. It's one of those, as soon as I smelt it, God, I was damn, why didn't I order this? <laughs> so, um, fantastic. and you get a lot as well, fair play. How many is there? God, no glasses. Um, I'm sorry, I can't see it. Lathered up superbly from the puck. No blooming. Thank you, Alistair, for allowing me to do that. I will clean it as best I can. Um, used a fine synthetic brush, which was wet, but not dripping. Lathered, as you could see, lathered very quickly um, and gave good protection during the shave. The scent, for me, is superb. Loved it. And uh, it came together because I was glad. Lathered nicely, protected during the shave. Good slickness and the scent is amazing. So you can't ask for more than that. Very happy with that. So um, that was lovely. And what else is there? Rinsed off with water. Then we used the Humphreys Witch Hazel. And Taylor of Old Bond Street, German Street. German Street. Old Sean Connery's back again. German Street. The name's Street. German Street. I'll oh, just get on with it. German Street. Alcohol free, so there's no stingy, stingy, and then um, <laughs> talking rubbish, you know what I mean. And uh, <laughs> for sensitive skin, fantastic stuff, it matches the soap, make myself laugh. Yeah. Um, beautiful scent. And to put the protection back in, <laughs> we're using um, B Men from Superdrug uh, Post Shave Balm. 8 in 1, whatever that is, probably about 1,000 chemicals in it, but there's no issues, I'm not feeling any reactions or anything, but it seems good stuff. And that is about it, I think, so um, so thanks for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week, <laughs> and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.